<laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, don't kick my car, don't kick my car. <laughs> so if you are gonna smack a biker as you go by, you definitely need to have some laneway to get out of there. And uh, it's not nice, guys. I don't want to hate on those guys. They're out there getting their exercise on, which is always good. Although it's way more fun on these roads with a fun car like this Porsche. <laughs> What's up guys, we're here at Myers Auto Body where the 89 Mustang convertible is being restored. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what's gone on so far. We just got it over here, uh, my first car, and very nostalgic. So um, come with us and let's see what's going on inside. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my Here's, uh, this is my first car ever. Um, I was 15 when we bought this, me and my dad. I saw this thing in uh, Auto Trader, uh, the ones that you flip through, now you just go on your phone. But um, something about the color and the chrome and the convertible and uh, the hood scoop that's on this thing, it just kind of all worked real well together. And I, I remember vividly um, going to this guy's house. Uh, it's a, Italian guy, younger guy who had built it and uh, taking it for a little rip and the sound of that five liter with the he had an exhaust on. Um, that was it, man, I was hooked, had to have it. So my dad and I bought that and uh, I ripped around in that car, including before getting my license and after my license for a long time. And it's been sitting in my dad's uh, garage for the last, I don't know, decade doing nothing except for housing uh, mice apparently so there's a lot of crap literally crap crap you want to want to show car. us that crap yeah check it out here so rick's already taken out the uh the carpet and everything but you can see they were nesting in the back seat there there's poo everywhere so and then was there somewhere up in yeah, there yeah up in here underneath the mural here yeah there you go yeah keep the light <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, they were they were living for free, man, rent yeah. free. It's a, a decade there, um, but I've been I spent the last ten years of my life building a gym business, and now it's time to uh, get back with the passion that I had, and and we're gonna restore this thing. Um, we're gonna it's gonna get stripped right down. So we got a, a, a similar color, but a new color. It's the same color as one of my dad's uh, Harley Davidson's that we're gonna put on there. We got new rims, but um, it's gotta be completely sanded down, rebuilt, got all the crap taken out, redo the interior completely. I don't know what I was thinking with that steering wheel back in the day that's in there right now, but it is kind of weird. So that's gotta go. And this motor's gotta be taken out, rebuilt. It's just a stock five liter with any type of bolt on possible so nothing internally done but uh we got a trick flow upper lower intake and cold air um, headers and exhaust system but that's about it it doesn't really need to go fast it sounds good it's a convertible just to cruise so that's what we're gonna what we're gonna do and that's why we're here to see rick's taking it apart and we're gonna give you the piece by piece rebuild of this 89 mustang convertible and see what comes out of it in the end but it's a cool shop i've never actually been to rick's shop here
this car is crazy, man. Now, this is a, a 2011 Porsche Cayman S. So it's the um, 981. But this car was taken um, by a guy in Montreal and completely, uh, completely redone. So this thing looks like a mini Carrera GT on steroids. Um, it has a, like a very much a supercar look and now the Caymans are mid-engine um, and he's done there's some engine work done to it too, but there's no turbos or anything. So it's, it's probably running a healthy 350 horsepower um, But the look of this car is insane uh, Everywhere you drive in this car people are just like stopping and like what? and um, I think that's half the fun, you know, it's just serving up a little bit of uh, that look to everybody. And, um, you'll see what well, the other shots will do, what, what I'm talking about, carbon fiber uh, wing and front lip and crazy body mold with a wide body kit, big 20 inch deep dish rims that sit in there real good. Like this was done really well. This guy uh, in uh, Montreal knows what he's doing. But it's also, these Caymans are fun to drive. They uh, they just handle so well and the weight distribution is so nice. So just anywhere you can take it and just like lean into the corner, it just wants to hug and go. We're gonna head back to those little twisty turnies and see if we can find them without any Tour de France bikers going at them. You think we'll be in any luck? I don't know, man. Yeah, that, they were going pretty slow they up that hill, man. Up that that, hill. Was, they like that they were was pretty rough. Those guys need a steady dose of assault bike in their life. For those of you who just follow the Life of Tribe channel, um, my business is not cars, my business is gym. I own a gym and uh, we love working out and we love using something called the assault bike to stay in shape. And those uh, guys struggling up the hill over there need some of that assault bike is what they need. Can't really get anywhere in these country roads these days without these Oakville peeps. Ladies might what, be what is frick? almost in the other lane. What is this? Man. I remember as a kid, uh, we were bad though, man. Maybe I shouldn't even tell those kind of stories, but um, we were driving by and some beater, and my brother rolls down the window, and as we're going by, he yells smack, and he doesn't smack them, okay? He just pretends, and the guy was like, <laughs> but the worst, the worst part was that we were all laughing and then there was a, a red light like right there and we had to stop at the red light and the guy's coming. I'm like, this guy's gonna kick our car. And he comes up beside us and he's doing like, hey, jerks, jerks, what's wrong with you jerks? <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, don't kick my car, don't kick my car. <laughs> so if you are gonna smack a biker as you go by, you definitely need to have some laneway to get out of there. And uh, it's not nice, guys. I don't want to hate on those guys. They're out there getting their exercise on, which is always good. All right, we're getting down to some twisty turnies. Let's see, let's downshift a little bit. Let's let that engine wind up. It's not me I don't trust. It's like other people and like where they are, and what they're doing. Oh, this guy's coming up. These, these turns, eh, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere. There's another there's biker coming. coming. Down. This, this thing, man, <laughs> this thing is absolutely incredible. Like, this is what it's meant for. 
these yeah. kind of turns. Oh yeah, events, on man. the turns and oh. on the track. I think to find the perfect car is something where you want the best of everything. And obviously, you're not gonna get um, you're not gonna get the perfect score and everything. But if you can level it out and have balance across all those things like power, uh, traction, uh, the look, the feel, the ability to drive it on a daily basis. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know about you, and I, I love all kinds of cars, and I think, you know, paddle shifting and those um, crazy transmissions they have now are awesome, and they take time off your zero to 60. I just, man, having a six speed and being able to shift to these gears, even though off the line it's a bit slower because you don't have like a launch control or something like that. Um, there's just, you know what I'm saying. There's something about oh, yeah. being able to shift your way through these gears that feels nice. Oh yeah, man, when you can feel it. Oh. Yeah, and you just, you're not out there trying to take on the world of supercars yeah. then that feeling of like shifting downshifting it's just that's the way to go it makes me kind of giddy i love driving out here man i love i love uh i love the barns and the farms i love the cows and the horses like this is where this is where i want to end up with a little farm out in the country with a barn full of cars. But well, we got a really cool video coming up for you guys of a car I won on an auction. And so you gotta look out for that because that is gonna be fun. That thing is fast. I could do this all day. This is the compound.